Hi, welcome to NickStrumLessons.com. This will be the first of many rudimental combos that I do on the site. Basically, the theory is, is it's not enough just to do the rudiment individually. Say it was a five stroke. Okay, five stroke, five stroke, five stroke, five stroke. Great, but give it something else so that it creates a nice little cadence. Uh, so it's got more musicality to it. Uh, so this one will be nine stroke paradiddle. And if you know what a, fi a nine stroke is, it's basically right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Same thing with the left. Right. You should practice it as even 16th notes at first. Even strokes, my wrist is doing all the work. That way when I bump it up, more BPMs, faster and faster, I'm still in control of it. It sounds nice and clean and machine-like. For example. Even faster. You want to not, you don't want to, let me clarify, any kind of buzzes with these. You want evenness and no buzzes, okay? And the, the theory behind it is, again, the wrist is all in control there. You're in control, not Sir Isaac Newton with his uh, gravity, okay? Everybody likes a gravity joke. All right, so how do you incorporate the paradiddle in there? And again, if you don't know a paradiddle, it's right. Is that the ninth stroke's gonna kind of bridge the paradiddle between it. So, the first half of it, so that paradiddle ends with the right right, nine stroke paradiddle, set you up for the left, over and over. Works the nine strokes with the right, works the paradiddles with the right, works the nine strokes with the left, works the paradiddles with the left. And there's the, the one measure phrase. One to the two is the nine stroke, two e and is the paradiddle, three to the four is the left nine stroke, and then four e and is the left paradiddle. Enjoy it. Nine stroke paradiddle. Good stuff. You can see the full transcription of it on uh, the website, nextrunlessons.com.